Madison traffic, Madison traffic says uh, 2 yeah. kilo miles, uh -oh. downwind 1-7, Madison. Uh-oh, what? Oh, God, it's somebody. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's not a good, uh, uh, here, oh. we're in a plane. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That's all right. I don't see anybody on that. There's one on downwind. Going down. Holy shit. I don't know if they see each other. I think they do. I hope so. Madison says 65841 departing on 17 has downwind traffic inside. Both at times. I'm going to delay too much here, that's for sure. There's beats coming alive. 40 knots, 50 knots, 55 knots, full back pressure here. Little trim. Okay. Turn forward now. Airspeed looks great. 75 knots. Nice smooth air. It's good to know. Wind Ridge on a Tango, in your final for full stop on 17 Madison. Drive it, drive it. 39125 is on the final. 30. Zero. Find us some cool air now. Madison traffic, 26 miles. Zulu is left downwind. 17 got the traffic on base in sight. Madison. Madison, uh, 81, turn across, which part of Pattern East, Madison? Climbing uh, through 800, we'll go ahead and go ahead and contact Jackson Approach. H5198, turn left, heading 090. Zero, nine, zero. So our track is 194. Set that header boat there. Good morning, Jackson Approach. Says no 65, 841 out of Madison, climbing through 1000. Like to pick up the VFR flight following to Meridian, please. Cruising up to the 5500. Set 65841, Jackson Approach. I'll have a uh, squawk for you in just a moment. Jackson altimeter 3000. 3000, 841. Okay, we're in clear to Charlie now. He identified us by number. AZ, almost IFR. Yep, it was like this the other day. It was just like this the other day. So you can't even see 40. No, we can't see squat. A5198, traffic 1 o'clock, 5 miles via It indicates 5,800 unverified each time. AC, uh, 5198, looking. Cessna 841, squawk 4306. 4306, 841. All right, climbing through 2000. AC, 5198, proceed on course, direct meridian. Direct meridian, AC, 5198. AC, 5198. This is 54, Wizard, contact 4 south. East of the Madison Airport, 2700, altimeter 300. 300, 300, we are climbing through 2700. All right, we're stuck to the effects of the air a little, thinner air. Lean out a little is what it is. Look at that, I leaned out, look, my climb rate just boom, went up from 500. Oh, I'm fine on airspeed here. Yep, airspeed looks good, climbing through 4,000 right now. 5,500 is our ultimate air temperature now, 75 degrees. It's almost uh, 15 degrees cooler. Yeah, not bad. No, can't beat that. 4,500, one more thousand feet to climb, and then we're up to the races. Amps look good, temp look good, vacuum looks good. All right, cruise checklist, right, not the touch, just a mixture. Lean that out just a little. Yeah, just uh, power between 2100 and 2700. Okay, that's where we're at. Dust elevator trim and lean mixture. Excellent, we're well, good. Yeah, I was talking, hey, let's squeeze some air clear. <laughs> yeah, more it's like an IFC. Yeah. So I can't up. believe this is legal VFR, but it is. You can't see squat ahead. No, I can't see I am basically flying instruments because I can't see, I don't have a horizon line. And Eagle Fire, 331, turn right 120, joint file. 31 on the roll out traffic. So uh, one o'clock and five miles. This is experimental single engine. He's uh, south uh, southbound for uh, downtown Jackson. Via far to blow 2500. Cessna 841 contact Memphis Center 125.9 or seven. Good day. 259 Good morning, Memphis Center. Cessna 65841. 5,500. Number 65841. Memphis Center. Roger. Meridian altimeter 3000. 3000. And um, verify, not verify, uh, let me know before you go to begin your VFR descent. I do have traffic for you. Uh, it's about your 12 o'clock, two zero miles westbound. So that's the 172 VFR at 4,500. May suggest a turn to the left uh, to clear. Is that for you? I'm not sure. I'll hold off. 765 you copy, sir? Oh, Roger, 841. I want to know if I was familiar with another traffic. We'll maintain 5,500. Take any guides you give us. 841. Center 841, if you need me higher, I'll be happy to get higher. You want higher? If you need me to get higher, I'd be happy to go higher if you need me. 841. Well, no, it's fine. He's, he's landing uh, Vic Spurs, but he's at 4,500. I just didn't want you to um, start your descent with him there. It looks like you may go north of him about a mile, but it's hard to gauge at this, uh, this time. 
November 80537, traffic uh, about 1 o'clock, 1 5 miles eastbound to Cessna 182 at 5,500. Identified you to the other person. Okay. Called you a 182. Oh, that's good. Can you hear that? I like that. Yeah. Sounds impressive. November 65841, contact Meridian Approach 120.5. 20.5, they form. Yeah. Good morning, Meridian Approach. Says now 65841, 5500. We'll begin working on getting the weather. 65841, Meridian Approach, Roger. And I got the weather here. Key field winds, 1905. Visibility, 9 miles. Key is 5500. I'll come in at 3000. 3000 on altimeter, and we'll be starting on gradual descent. 1541. 1541, Roger, maintain VFR, expect one way, one niner, key field. Expect one niner, key field, 841. Okay, we're starting on gradual descent. 20 knots, anything on the descent checklist to be done? We know fuel bows both. Mixture's good right now. Seat belts up. Okay. I mean, seat belts locked, seat backs up. Uh, fuel selected rails on both. Test 841, opposite direction traffic, 1 o'clock and 1 2 miles westbound. Skyhawk at 4,500 VFR. 841, quite hazy, no joy on the traffic. Skyhawk 80537, opposite direction traffic, 1 o'clock, 1 2 miles eastbound. The sky lane descending uh, VFR to 5,200. All right, so we'll look for it. I'm going to stay perched up at 5,000 for now until we get past. Ready approach 841, just so you know, I'm going to remain at 5,000 for you. That traffic's no factor. So 841, order, I'll keep you advised. Now 1 o'clock and uh, 7 miles. Six past south of course, I'll keep you advised and be clear. 841, appreciate your help. This is 537, previous issue traffic will be maintaining 5,000 pass off the right side. Now 1 o'clock and about 5.5-6 miles. All right, we'll look forward. Thank you, Will. Stay at 4,500. Thank you. Dang, that's scary. Can't see crap. No, it's hard to see a monoclear. I know, but at least you got a chance. Yeah. Shoot, we're not going to see the airport till practically on top of it. Yeah. It does look like a layer of clouds around 5,000. Success 537, Travis Mill Factory, contact Memphis Center, 125.97. Joseph, 125.97. Thank you. Success 841, Travis Mill Factory, and V4D, send your discretion. 8 point, thanks for help. 20 VOR 046 to 170 radio is unusable until front of us. That's our initial contact. Have information to back. That approach, take what We do have to be back now. Two eight four. Nice initial approach descent. Very gradual. You know, 4,500. All right, we're going to widen this out a little. I don't have the airport in sight. Ain't no way. We're due east. One nine will be to the right, so we're kind of uh, like it'll be a nice base leg, right base. Here 3,000. Brown salt through there. Pleasantly surprised to eat two here. TPA is 1100, but it eventually look to it. Should be right off of here somewhere. All right, poor landing checklist. Yeah, seat back, seat belts, fuel selector valve, both. Those are rich, rich. Landing lights and taxi lights are on. Okay. And autopilot is off. All right, we're good. Wheels down. Wheels are down. Dang, I can't believe we don't see it. I'm no, pretty far north. I don't remember all these hills. That's a worry. I see a little open area over there, but I don't think that's it. No. A little like an airport. I don't think that's it. I think it's just to the right of the open air, uh, area. That, that, that I'm looking in the same area. Yeah, it's like straight off at 1 o'clock. Yeah. I just don't see the runway environment. Yeah. But I see an open area that looks landable should it, anything happen anyway. We'd be in like play with what I perceive. Well, it's right along the edge of the interstate, so kind of, I can see the interstate. Yeah, right that's why there. I'm wide out. Yeah, that's why I'm exactly. That, that might be it right up ahead. I think. No. You know, that's it's Interstate 20 straight ahead. Boy, it's, the runway's right on the end of it. The runway's this way, though. Unless you see it, I don't want to call for any help. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it right there. Still at 11 o'clock? Uh, need to widen out the left end a little? Yeah, go go that way a little bit. Well, no, maybe it's a lake. I don't know. We're seven miles out. It should be practically under our nose. Test 65841, contact Key Tower, 119.8. 119.8. No, you know what? I, I just don't know where it is. What, uh, I thought that might have been it, but that's obviously you know, a field or something. Good morning. Key Tower, Cessna 65841, inbound for runway 19. Cessna 65841, Key Tower, put the right base for runway 19. We'll report right base for 19. Well, there, I see the two interstates going right through those trees right there, see? Yeah, I see the two interstates. So All right, so it'll, it'll be a up, a little, up ahead a little bit and on the uh, right. I guess that's it, way off. Like distance, do you think that's six miles ahead? 
five miles? No, what? That is pretty far away, but I think that's it. Okay. I think that's you're right. Be it. It's got to be it. We'll just continue at this out to 1500, three or 400 PI. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the environment. Yeah. So we need to swing it out just a little wider. Yeah, for airport in sight. B Tower 841, setting up a right base. We do have 19 in sight. Downwind with 2406, only 19, Craig Lamb. 119, Craig Lamb, wheels down, 8 point. Alright, I got the runway in sight, yay. Go ahead and start slowing this beast down a lot. Start trimming. Getting out of white arc there. Per hive, I'm going to widen it out more. First notch of flaps go in. Key tower, Cessna 690039, ready for takeoff runway 22. Cessna 690039, Key tower. Runway 22, line up and wait. Traffic landing on runway 19, Cessna 182. 69029, line up and wait, runway 22. Trying to round it out, got a good... 841 traffic, taking position, hold for 22, 159. 841, we had that traffic up inside. Maybe because we're 182, they assigned us just runway. Maybe so. Sounds good. Alright, we're high, but that's no big deal. We've got that display special. Hands are off the wheel. Trimming this bay all the way up. Okay, airspeed looks good, 75 knot final. Even between 75 and 80. Trapped a little bit. Last notch of flaps going in. Airspeed looks good. Airspeed looks good. 70 knots. Airspeed looks good. Good much. Hold this up to a little bit. Airspeed looks good. 62 knots. 65 knots. Wavering. A little gust factor. Start straightening her out. Hold it off. Nice. Alright. Let's go up.